So now let's look at the mathematical definitions of a graph. Um, so I've gone directly to the text of the book. So this is a formal way of defining a graph in mathematics. Uh, so we're going to walk through it slowly here. So we're going to represent a graph as the letter G will be a graph. And a graph is basically a uh, tuple of, uh, of a V and an E, where V is the vertices and E is the edges. Uh, so for the graph, G and V is the set of vertices and E is a set of edges. The word set in graph means that there's a unique set of vertices and there's a unique set of edges. So set means there's a unique set. So that's why we can use a dictionary to represent each one later on. Uh, each actual edge is actually just a pair of uh, vertices representing that you have a connection between V and W. So each edge is a tuple V and W where V and W is in the set of vertices. So that's what this statement means is V and W are in the list of vertices for the graph. Uh, so that means we wouldn't have an edge which would mention a vertice that's not in our graph. That's all that means. Um, so we can also have a third component to an edge and we would just add it as a weight. So the uh, besides the vertices and the two vertices that represent uh, the edge, we could add a, another thing to this tuple which would be the weight. A subgraph uh, called S is where the edges in S and the vertices in S are both also in the graph G, so which just has a, the big list of edges and the big list of vertices. Uh, so we mentioned that a tree, you can find trees and uh, subgraphs in a larger graph. So here's an example of uh, representing this. So here's a, a set of vertices. So this list of vertices we're going to know is V0 through V5. Uh, so those are the IDs of them. So that's the uh, V in here, so that's a set of vertices. And then edges would be these tuples. So this is a weighted graph, so it has the tuple for vertices 0 and 1 has a connection and it has a weight of 5. So we look down here, let's find uh, V0 and V1. So here's V0 and V1 and here's the edge here that has a weight of 5. So this line right here is represented by this tuple. So here's V1 to V2 is another edge. So we find V1 and then V2 and here's the edge between those and it has a weight of 4. So there's the 4. So you can find that all of these are the edges of our graph. So now let's look at the graph abstract data type or the ADT and um, so we're going to have a, a class called graph and uh, we're going to cover that first. So graph will be the main class that a user of the graph class will use uh, and it can call add vertex and give it an ID or a key for the vertex and that will add a vertex to the graph. Uh, more conveniently it can add an edge uh, and it'll add from a, a, a vertex ID to vertex ID and if those IDs are already not in vertexes in the graph it will add them uh, so you can just use add edge to add edges and vertices uh, there's add edge with a weight so if you have a directed graph or undirected graph that needs weights you just add a weight as an optional parameter uh, note for undirected graphs uh, which don't have a direction uh, you need to call add edge twice, one with AB and the other one with BA uh, to, in order to build a, a edge that goes both directions between the two vertices and you'll need that for a, uh, a uh, undirected graph. Then there's get vertex where you give it to key and it returns the vertex um, object. There's get vertices which returns a list of all the vertice IDs not the objects themselves from the graph and then there's the in operator so if you have a vertex object X you can check if it's in the graph object G that you've created. Please subscribe to my channel you'll see an icon in the lower right to do that and you'll receive notifications when I post new videos. Thank you.